Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is a Bradford City versus Hull City match vlog if you do go on to enjoy today's video please make sure to drop a like on there for me if you could try and hit 150 likes on today's video that would be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are on the road to 8,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on it's free to do so and it does massively help out drop a comment in as well down in the comment section down below let me know your thoughts on today's game this is probably going to be our toughest test of pre-season so far in England obviously we had that game against Getafe we've also played Berry, Bolton behind closed doors and then on Wednesday night we had Bradford Park Avenue where it was largely for the majority of it the under 19s team with a couple first team players in there like Jake Young, Harvey Rowe, Heath Richardson and Dylan Young but it was an interesting watch not the most entertaining of games so fingers crossed today we do see a lot more goal action and all that sort of stuff I guess today we'll see a bit more of what the starting 11 could potentially look like in the opening game of the season against Crawley. Some players might get 60-70 minutes today which will obviously be nice to see and then on Wednesday we have Middlesbrough as well so two tough tests coming up before we end our pre-season campaign against Rochdale. Hull are obviously a much stronger side. I've watched Hull a couple of times last season obviously when we played them in the AFL Cup beat them 2-1 in that game. Lewis scoring an own goal and then Andy Cook bagging a brace in that one and then when Hull played QPR at home when Hull won 3-0 I was also at that game because Bradford didn't play and again they looked pretty solid in that one. Since Liam seniors come in they look certainly a much better side so it's going to be a tough game today in terms of a score prediction I'm going to go with a 3-2 defeat I think we're going to see goals today obviously we lost 5-2 to Bolton on Tuesday in that behind closed doors friendly so I'm excited for today's game fingers crossed it's a good one make sure to drop a like on there for me subscribe if you are new as well and I shall see you all down at Valley Parade which will be the first time since that playoff semi-final first leg let's get into team news here we have it then, here's how we line up for today's game at home to Hull City. It looks like, once again, it is that 3-5-2 formation. Hopefully this isn't the team that's going to start against Crawley Town, to be honest with you. I can't say I've been impressed with Liam Rydalk so far at left wing back. Ash Taylor over Stubbs and Platt is certainly interesting. Looks like Oyugoke is back in the back three. I much prefer him at wing back. And then the midfield, interesting to see Richie Smallwood not getting the start. No Alex Gilead on the bench, so potentially he's picked up some sort of an injury. Apart from that... Looks pretty like what you would expect with Patterson and Walker in there. I like the look of that. And then obviously it's Smith and Cook up front. Hopefully we can see loads of goals today. Let's get into kickoff. Fair play as always to all the whole fans that have travelled. It's not the shortest of journeys. And it's pre-season friendly against all the league side. So credit to them. Kit's looking nice. Pitch is looking decent. Um, still room for it to grow in certain parts. But fingers crossed we can get the winner. Let's get into it. I'm going to kids. I'm not going to Yeah. 
We'd have genuinely had two red cards in this game. These three at the back are absolutely shocking. Oh, you go, okay, Kelly and Taylor. They're, yeah, not it. All right. Well, there's half time. Good first 20 minutes up until Hull scored, but then after that, absolutely shocking. Really, really concerning that last 20, 25 minutes. Really poor. A couple of changes at the break. Stubbs and Osadibe on for Tyler Smith and Ash Taylor. Taylor might have gone off with an injury. First shot in a long time, loads of subs coming now. Madison is now coming on for Kieran Kelly. Not too sure why this has come about 10 minutes later than the others. Another change, Oh, you go okay, off, injury on. Oh, well done. In the end, it was a bit of an interesting game because I thought for the first 20 minutes or so, we looked really good. We were the better team, in my opinion, and then Hull scored with one of their few attacks of the game so far. It was one of the only real opportunities they had inside our half, and they took it, you know, really good move, clinical finish. Taylor falls over, and it's just a bit of a mess, really, but it's a great finish from a Hull perspective. And then after that, they completely controlled the game. They were passing the ball around us like we weren't even there. We could have potentially had two red cards as well. I thought defensively, we looked really, really poor trying to play out from the back with people like Kelly and Taylor or your Goki at points looked really good and then he'd do something really good and then he'd do something really bad he was just a bit of a um He's a bit of a hit and miss, he's all you go, okay? I think he's much better as a right wing back rather than a centre back. Ash Taylor, for me, I'm not overly convinced to buy him. With the way we're playing a back three, if he's playing in the middle, he gets dragged out far too easily and then he runs back like he's got cement in his boots. I can't say I've been overly impressed with him so far. Kieran Kelly was solid ish, to be fair, but he was a bit rash in his decision making. Liam Rydog is Liam Rydog. I still don't understand how he's got a new contract. Halliday looked really good. That's the best performance I've seen from Halliday so far in pre season. Ryan East, pretty tidy in there. 
Uh, Walker looked good, to be fair. Patterson was a little bit anonymous for me. Tyler Smith didn't really do a fat lot. Andy Cook didn't really do a fat lot. I have obviously Smith and Taylor. Both were subbed off at half time. I don't know if that was injury or if that was meant to happen. I'm not really too sure. Into the second half, I thought... Actually, I've not even mentioned Harry Lewis there. Harry Lewis was... Best performance I've seen from him so far in preseason. He was really good. Three or four really, really key saves, and you've got to give him credit for that. Probably my man of the match, to be honest with you. In terms of the subs, Platt was a bit average, to be honest. Sam Stubbs started off a bit shaky again, but grew into the game and thought he ended it really strong. Timo Cena ended the game, well, his whole appearance, really. I don't know how long he was on for, maybe 20, 25 minutes, something like that. Thought Odessina looked really good, in my opinion. Luke Hendry, now I don't know if the goal is Hendry's or Sam Stubbs's. I'm not really too sure. Hendry was pretty solid, to be fair. Clark Adol looked really, really poor. Just, yeah, I'm not really convinced by Clark Adol so far. Smallwood was Richie Smallwood. You know, he's a little bit slow, likes to play it sideways and backwards, but overall, he kept the game ticking and all that sort of stuff. Gilead showed a bit of energy in there. Bobby Poynton looks really good as well. I've been really impressed with what I've seen from him so far. I feel like I've forgotten someone who was playing in midfield. Osadibe was... I mean, Osadibe is just so Osadibe, really, isn't he? He, do, he either does something really, really good or he just gives the ball away in a stupid area. But I don't mind that, to be honest with you. If it's in the final third, I don't mind him trying things because if they come off, they look really good and he will be a frustrating player at times, but I certainly think there is a player there in Osadibe. And Matt Derbyshire, he's not really a striker can lead the line on his own so you've got to give him credit for the few nice touches that he did have but overall for me I thought the real positives were Lewis Odessina and Bobby Poynton and there were a few negatives in there but I'm not going to go over them once again but overall for me clearly lots of room for improvement but overall not terrible again to championship side. I'm going to leave it there though for today's video if you have enjoyed please make sure to drop a like on there for me if you could try and hit 150 likes as I said at the start of today's video that'd be massively appreciated subscribe if you're new as well we are on the road to 8,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on it's free to do so and it does massively help out drop a comment in as well down in the comment section down below let me know your thoughts on today's game who do you think impressed you the most and who do you think really underperformed in today's game thank you very much for watching today's video have a good rest of your day and i'll see you all on wednesday for middlesbrough at home peace